Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to another episode of Grayscale. What I'm going to do today, it's a little different format, obviously. I'm going to do a little bit of uh, one stroke flower making. I had these interesting looking plaques sent to me as a Christmas gift. Alright. Um, I had to prepare it first because if you can see, uh, sometimes you can't avoid it. But if you can see here and here, it's oils from the fingers. I took an alcohol wipe, wiped it down. Um, just got to be kind of careful with it. It's, you know, black surface and it shows any type of imperfections and whatnot. Um, but I'll do a, a, a floral pattern on one of these. I got two. So maybe I'll do two of them, depending on how long it takes and whatnot. Okay. Um, I'll do some decorative little border around here. Put the main flower and some petals and stuff around there. And um, let's see what happens. All right, I'm gonna work with angled brushes. Got a one inch, a half inch, and a little script liner. This should be the only ones I need here. I'll show them to you here. All right. Okay. Typically, it's not uh, too many materials you need, really. Of course, I have my glycerin and um, shampoo mix. Basically, what this do is loosen up the paint a little bit. I won't need too much of it. It's just to get the paint flowing. It's a very flat surface, no texture. On this palette here, I have titanium white, Grumbacher, Dollar Rani, uh, Cad Red, Cad Yellow, and this is the uh, phosphorescent green, like fingernail polish green. You got the glitter stuff in it. That will be for the leaves and such. All right. And so that's uh, all I need right now. And then surface to get the one stroke. Um, get the shading right for the one stroke. If it gets too messy in here, I'll just uh, use something else. Okay, guys, we're going to get started with this. I'm going to work on the uh, border edges here. All right. <coughs> I'm going to dip my brush in a little bit of the medium because like I said the, the paint that I'm using is a little thick I'm going into my white get enough of the white on the brush where I still want some of the thickness but loosen it up just a little bit now I feel a little intimidated by doing something like this at first um, if you feel you messed up you can wipe it off and do it all over again okay I'm gonna get some of this out of the camera view all right now I'm gonna start some of the swirls now if you notice if I pick it up here if you notice the curvature here at the edge it kind of helps you out all right and the the hole here will also help you out help center where you're gonna go and you just follow the edge okay so we're gonna do a simple one remember you just just follow the edge I'm gonna use the brush more of an upright angle gives you a, a, a more of a narrow line and if you got to you put a little dot there just to guide you and you see where it is here and you just follow the edge as best as you can like a long letter s and what i'm doing really is following the curvature and the flow of the outside border like so if you want to curve it in around here you can but something like that and when you get it down the first time my hand might be in the way I'm moving my whole arm I'm not moving I'm gonna get a little thick here and then I'm gonna thin it out get some more here you might get a little nervous doing it at first and that's fine Okay, now when it dries, you can also go over it again. So the one pass is fine. Like so. So basically, it's just a, a letter S. Okay, I'm going to dip into the medium a little bit. Get some more paint. And I, I can, all I'm doing is twirling the brush. That's it. All right, now I'm going to turn this around. I 
and we can do the same thing on the other side. Remember, start with a dot. So let's go on kitty corner. You start with a little dot first. And remember, it's just a long letter S. Move your whole arm. And you just curl it around. Like so. Now I'm going to go back over it because I want it thick here. And I'll go thin again. And curl it right around. Remember, you can go over these again. Hold it like a pin. Okay. Like I say, if you want to curl the S a little bit more, curl the S a little bit more. Really up to you. All right. Now we're going to turn that back around so it looks like so. Okay. And you see they're going pretty much in the the same direction. I got more of a curl on this side, but it really won't matter because you, you'll have other designs and whatnot going around also. Now, you can reverse it if you want to. I'll reverse it. Oh, uh, let's go higher. Let's gonna go right about here. Now, remember where you, let's hold it up here. Just remember where you are in relation. Okay. And it's around here. Okay. So we're going to go in the uh, opposite direction. We're going to go, the curve of the X is going to go inside. We're going to try to match the one on the other side here, this one. So the little circle or whatnot will go this way. And get a little curl here because you want to match the one on the other side not the one up above but the one next to I'm just going to get a little paint all I got to do is twirl, uh, twirl it around it's got a little curly cue in here like so as I, br whoops, as I bring it around it gets a little heavier in the center and it just thins out again like that Remember, you got your opportunity to go over these again when it dries. This is acrylic paint. It does dry a little fast. All right. So much like that. Turn it around. Oh, but you see how it's starting to come out. Okay. Here, you're going to do it one more time. Turn, get some more of the paint. If you gotta get a little more medium, just, just dip the tip in there and get some more white. As you get used to it, you get more and more comfortable with it. Now, I haven't done these in quite some time. And you're gonna, you're gonna pick it up and you try to match, remember where the, where the center would be. Okay, and, uh, approximately right around in here. All right, and we're gonna go inside. All right. Now where I did the center is where that part ends. So it actually kind of loops around like this. And then it comes around, outward, come on in. Like so. And we're going to give it a little curly cue in there. But we're going to extend that one just like that and thin it right out. And we can smooth this all out on the second pass. So don't worry if your first pass is a little undesirable. We can always thin that right out. But now you have all four. Okay, and you turn it around. And it's going to look like that. Okay. And remember, this is just the start of it. Once it dries, you can go over it again. All right. Get a little bit more. I'm going to use this white up here to get what I want done with the border okay now when it comes to this the center ones you don't have to be as wide or as extravagant it's really up to you how you want to do this so let's say in the middle I'll hold it up so you can really see where there right there that part right there Okay, you can also sketch it out in pencil if you want. Graphite 
can be seen through this or um, a Sharpie marker can also be seen through it if you're a little shy about doing it. So now that I have uh, that part established, let's do a little, uh, let's start right here, right in the middle, we'll touch a little dot right there. And we'll do, remember hold it upright like a pencil and we'll try to get to meet that dot or as close as you can to it and we're going to do a little circle there following the contour of the outside border I'm going up like a like an S but sideways so I'm going higher up and we'll we won't have we won't even uh fully give it a full uh, curl all right something like so now as I'm doing this the paint is drying it's acrylic paint it dries pretty fast even with a little bit of medium in it all right so there we go that's one we're gonna do it again on the other side right by that dot there kind of a judgment call and we're gonna curve it around not a full curl something simple like so okay we're gonna do the same exact thing up above and remember when it dries you can go over it and smooth it all out again okay so we're gonna turn it right around and we're gonna do the same thing you'll be surprised of how close you can get to making the match I just dipped a little bit into the medium and just getting some paint now you can measure how much paint you can you're getting like I say, the more you do it, the more comfortable you'll get with it. And how much thickness of the paint you, you, you want and you're looking for. This is just the first pass. You'll be going over it again. All right. Remember, let's put a little, little dot there in the, in the center. Okay. And you're going to do like the letter C. Go up. And you're gonna curl around. Now, if it's too thick or whatever, the um, black acrylic will cover that up. You can you can really fine tune this to however you want. I'm moving my whole arm, not just my wrist. If you feel you don't have enough paint, um, you'll know by the feel of it. But much like that and that's all you do leave it be and you can correct it on the second pass but there's the framing already only takes a few minutes so i'll bring it back around and that's what it would look like so your subject matter is already centered for you very simple all right okay So what I'm going to do is let this dry out. Um, I don't have no water here. I need a small uh, jar of water to rinse off the brush and wipe it off with the towel. But as this dries, I have to let it dry. It takes a few minutes. I'll go back over it again. We're going to smooth all this out. It's, it's a quick process because you already have everything lined out for you. And once we do that, then we'll get on to the fun stuff. We'll put some... Uh, leaves and such in here actually what i'll do right now is i'll sh i'll show you where everything's going to be the center of this uh rose will be oh probably we'll center the thing probably around in here like that all right something like this like i said this is going to be like a, a one stroke variety of floral we we'll have uh leaves and such coming out there leaves coming out here and whatnot or the petals uh, make it look real nice okay and the iridescent paint okay because of the properties that are in iridescent paint it's not as thick as like say the titanium white or the red or the yellow so what i'll do is um not sketch it out like that because the white will just show right through and that's not the effect i'm looking for this is fine 
okay you'll see in a second but this this is fine okay and we'll come back um and we'll do some leaves and petals and we'll do the rose after i uh go back over this all right and we'll continue right on with it so i'll be right back stay tuned hey guys all right we're back so like i said this stuff is dry okay <coughs> and we can go back over it and like i said once again i'm gonna wet my brush into this medium get a little bit of paint i can make it a little bit thicker actually now what you can do is go over it and when you go over it if you still don't like what you what you've got down here okay now it just makes it brighter white because you got something for it to uh hold on to just like so and you can start fine-tuning certain things about it and whatnot using black to go on the outside line to smooth smooth things over this process won't take as long because you already have the uh, paint laid on here all right and like I say you can smooth it over with black on the outside and basically just tracing over what you previously done and that's basically what I'm doing right here which I can go by it pretty pretty quickly here and remember how you hold your hold your uh, paintbrush okay the more upright you have it the finer the line all right I know you hear that suspenseful documentary that I got on in the, in the TV room there I like to have a um, little bit of background noise whatever some of you may have music going on or, or whatnot. As you notice, I'm not moving my wrist. I'm moving my whole arm. And that's basically what I'm doing. Moving my whole arm. If there's something here that I don't particularly care for, I can go over it with black on the outside and uh, smooth everything over. If I don't, like I say, particularly care about a particular curve or something like that just going on the other side I did these two I did these two and I'm gonna do the other four here and like I said I go a little thicker in the middle of the S all right and if I don't care about a certain part I can go over it with the black fine-tune it But once again, once you fine tune it, <coughs> do the rest of the painting because you might not even notice it once everything else is on here. Right now, the only thing that's on here is the uh, the um, there we go. Is the decorations on the outside? What I'm doing is I'm twirling the brush around and get enough paint. I want the the uh, decoration to be as smooth as possible, and like I said, I can I can uh I can trim all of that up. Stuff like this, <coughs> if you can't get it on the second pass, you can always trim it up with the black. So, once again, do not panic. I want them a little thinner than what I have here on the bottom. What's what's presently the bottom? And I can go over that with black. Just a little twirl of the brush, get some more paint on it. Now, when I'm close like this, doing a very small area, I can move my wrist, stay stationary. <coughs> but all the rest, you just move your move your whole arm. It keeps everything flowing a lot smoother. Now I've just done all four. There. Uh, put it right there in front of the camera there. Let's do all four. Like so. 
Okay. All right. Clean off the brush here. It's off camera. Wipe it off. And that's that. And basically just let that dry. You can do the fine tuning and whatnot when it's all dry and you do the rest of the decorations in here. So let me let this dry and then we get to the main flower and the leaves so I'll be right back. While this is drying, or it might be dry, we're gonna get on with the flowers and the leaves and the fun stuff. All right, I'll just take tap off this. I'm just using a simple, you know how you go to the, the Oriental takeout place and get one of the food trays? That's all this is, okay? All right, we're gonna get with a, a flower here. I'm gonna use the one inch brush to get the uh, major petals out of the way. Okay, this is like a one stroke deal. But right now, I think I'm going to work on the leaves first. Now, I can do the uh, iridescent paint with it. Now, the iridescent paint is a little thin. I'll bring this up here. Okay, it's a little thin. Okay, but we'll work with it. And since I'm going to do the leaves first, I'm going to have the yellow on the inside. And the green on the outside. And you're going to wipe back and forth like so. I'm using an angled brush. Now, if I find the green might be a little too thin, then I'll go over it or I'll add a little white. But I don't want to add the uh, I'll add the white. So this this might do. We're going to do it with a thicker uh, the thicker brush first. All right. Now I have the advantage of turning this around, so it kind of all works for me. And what you do uh, with this type of uh, uh, process of, of uh, painting, okay is you give it a couple of touches there like so and depending on how you want your leaves like so you turn it around to where you're comfortable all right get a little more paint get a little more green for me a little more green and yellow a lot of it's a repeat process back and forth because you want a nice transition between the colors and a couple swipes and you do it again and as you do it all right and you just bring the center line around across and it's that simple to do i'm going to add some white in this yellow to make it a little more opaque so the yellow can stick out a little bit better i'm going to leave the green as is this is an angled brush. Don't be shy of the paint. Get a little white. Mix it in with the yellow. The fade will come all by itself. All right. I'm gonna go up here and do one. This is, like I said, a one inch uh, brush. So it's a little wide. And you get it narrow. I'm gonna turn it around. And I like the way these are coming out. Give it a couple of swipes there. Back and forth like the letter M. Just like so. And I'm going to... Nice green center. Put a little center line in this guy too. Like so. You can have them overlap. Okay, this is where all the fun, interesting stuff happens. And remember the direction... Of your I'm getting a little bit of the green here if remember the direction of your dark and your lights okay let's have one overlap I'll have it overlap this guy and remember also you want the yellow on the inside so I'm gonna go here just like that and narrow it right out and you can do the same thing on the other side hopefully this is all in camera view where you guys can see it Turn the brush over, you got plenty of paint on the other side. A couple of taps. Just like so. And come on right out to a point. You either have it yellow on the inside or green is really your preference, really up to you. Okay, show you what it looks like so far. Very simple but yet effective process. 
I kind of like it with the three. I can put five in there if I desire. All right, because I got one overlapping. You can do all sorts of interesting things with this, if you would like. You can triple load, double load, all up to you. Really, back and forth, like so. Get a little more yellow, get a little more white. Back and forth, just like so. Don't be afraid of the paint. Remember, I'm using an angle brush. I'm just getting some more paint. Okay. <clears throat> nice transition of uh, a color for both of these. Matter of fact, because I like it's so strong here, it's weak here. I'm going to go back over it. And you can do that. Okay, you can go back over it a couple of touches. And you go over it to get that stronger yellow. Like so. And I'm going to go back over it here. Just like that. And we'll put the center right in there. Just like that. Okay, now I, I kind of I like the three hanging around out there. I'll probably put a couple more out here. Okay, so this will have plenty of petals. Why not? Once you get accustomed to doing them, they're very fun. You can be very creative. I'm just getting some titanium white mixing it in with the yellow so it kind of shows strong. I'm using an angle brush. Angle brush tends to work better for me being a lefty. Okay. It may or may not work for you. Really up to you. Okay. We'll put one here. Yellow in the inside. Press down. Come out to a point. You can bring them at whatever angle you want. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Come straight. Curve it right around. Like so, I'll give it a little dark green vein right up in here. Like so. Okay. And this is what she's looking like with the iridescent paint so far. So I really don't need to really, uh, I don't, don't really need to add too much to it. Okay, not with this size brush. All right, so that's pretty much a, a done deal as far as that's concerned. I'm going to wipe off this excess paint that I have on the brush. Like so. And rinse it off. The brushes hold plenty of paint, so, you know, wipe it off pretty good. Make sure you get all the paint out of the brush because um, the way you'll find out is the way you really don't want to find out is when the brushes get really stiff and and they start to harden and the brushes will not maintain their shape okay and I get plenty of the water out all right that's that for that so far as I'm looking at it and I'm checking it out and whatnot um, not too bad I'm gonna take while that's um, drying I'll wait for it to dry a little bit I'm gonna take some red some cad red on my liner brush here it's not really a script liner, it's just a regular liner brush. I'm going to get plenty of paint here. Alright, and maybe you want to add a couple of dots. Alright, I'm looking at the monitor to make sure you guys can see it. I know I'm left handed, I got it on the left side. I'll put a dot right in the center of all of them. Get some more paint, I want the dots to kind of stick out there. Get some more paint. I want the dots to stick out. If you have a little bit of texture and they raise up a little bit, even better. Just using the tip. Okay. This ought to, ought to sound pretty humorous with the uh, with the screaming and stuff with the TV. I know that the microphone's picking it up. So you can't say you weren't entertained. Okay, so I am making the dots very visible. They're being raised. When you have plenty of paint like this, even if it is acrylic, it takes a little longer. The thicker the paint, the longer it takes to dry. So just be very mindful not to wipe your hand all over the place on it. Okay, now I have a dot in the center of all of these fellas. Okay, we're going to get a series of dots in red. Plenty of paint, nothing but a dot. I'm going to go where you see it bowls out at, okay, 
nearest the edge. I'll do a couple of lines that follow this guy. Went on around. All they do is simple dots, like that. Okay, so that's one is coming on the outside. The it's coming on the outside there. They don't have to be very very close. I'll start right at the center. I'll do it here, with my right hand. You start at the center, and you just follow it on down. All right. I'm twirling the brush around. If I, you feel you don't have enough paint, just get some more paint. And all this is just a touch. And you just follow it right down, like so. I'll put one here, give the appearance of a little curvature here, like so. We're going to do the same thing, but in the inside, on the bottom here. I'll do it here on the side. I'll just get some more paint. Make it as circular as you can. I'm going to go to where it bowls in the center. I'm twirling the brush around to get all the paint. The more you do this, the more custom you will be to, whoa, almost went into the white paint. The more custom you will be to doing these guys here. I'm on the far edge. I look at the monitor. I think you guys can see it. No, my hand's in the way. So I'll use my right hand. Follow the dots out. I'm twirling the brush a little bit. If I feel I'm not um, utilizing enough paint, just get some more paint. Very simple designs don't have to be overly complex, especially if you're kind of new to it. Okay, so let's hold this up and you see what it looks like so far. You might not see the red unless I bring it up to you. But you see the red now as the light catches it? But they're, the, they're up there. I use the monitor. There we go. You can see them a little bit better now. Okay? Just like so. All right. I think we've got that established for the outside. Um, when you start adding colors there, they try to get colors that kind of match and correspond with what you're going to do. My, my flower is going to be red with yellow highlights. Okay, so. Um, everything is going to match. You can get away with using a little bit of yellow also. I'm going to wipe off the uh, liner brush. Wipe off the brush pretty good. Remember, no no remnants of any paint. Try not to get it into the furrow up in here. All right. Try not to get it in, in there. All right. Okay, let's get a little yellow. Now, with the yellow, I'm going to mix the yellow in with some white okay why am I mixing white in the yellow because it makes the yellow opaque all right all you're gonna get is a brighter yellow you don't need as much uh, white all depends on the brightness and how much you want all right make sure you get plenty of it make enough to where you can do it without mixing anymore because you know color matching and whatnot so make, make sure you have plenty okay and let's go Oh, let's go right here on the inside here. And nothing but a series of dots. Okay. And I'm going along the curvature of the S's. All right. I'll bring this right around. I'll bring it around. Right on around. Follow the curvature. Like so. And we're going to do it again. From the outside here, right from the one where it bowls out at. Now, since these are dots and it's so bright, all right, like so. Match them all. If you must turn them around, turn them around. Okay, I'm going to turn it upside down here. Now I have to make sure that my left hand isn't totally in the way. I'll do it with my right hand on this one. Just a series of dots. Follow the curvature of the uh, the design, the S strokes there. I'm twirling the brush around and get a little bit more paint. 
get some more. Series of dots. Bring it right on around. As you get more and more comfortable with doing these, the faster you'll go. It, the speed will come with time. Okay. And right around here, same thing. I don't want to get it too close to the uh, to the design itself because I may have to go over it with black to fine tune those edges. Remember. But with all of this going on with it, with all the designs, you you or the customer might not notice it, but feel good for yourself and you really want to do a good job, then you go, you know, you can go ahead and go back over it. I'll show you an example of how to fine tune all that with the, uh, with the black. That's basically when it's pretty much all done. Okay, now I've already done all four. If you cannot see them, I will bring it up to you like so. And you guys can see it. I'm looking at it through my monitor. My monitor is across the room, but it's large enough for me to see it and maneuver the uh, maneuver this, this uh, board around here. Now, when you're looking at it upside down. This is it right side up. All right, so we've got our dots going and whatnot. Okay. And you're looking at it with natural light. I don't have a light on. All my windows are open here. Okay, dokie. Now, we can actually go on with the flower itself. Okay. Any little tendrils or whatever you want to add afterward will um, be placed on after the flower itself is on there. Okay. Now, I will go back to the... Um, to the one inch brush. This is for the wider petals and to get the base straight for whatever you want to do out here, outside here. You don't necessarily have to kind of stay within the lines. You can go over the lines. Okay, but it's just maintaining basically the shape of the flower, the size of the flower. Um, when you do an outline or whatever, your subject tends to grow a little bit. That's just, that's just um, how it is. All right, now, I'm going to mix the red and the yellow, um, pretty much like the greens, okay. Um, I will have the red on the inside and the yellow on the outside, just because they want the yellow to be um, highlighted. Now, the way the brush is formed here, there you go, I'll bring it a little closer, it's, a, it's an angled brush, so I want the yellow on the higher end of the angle brush and the red on the uh, the lower end it doesn't have to be exactly 50 50. all right it's really your choice and up to you but i do want the highlight on the top all right i'm gonna go over here highlight on the top i'm gonna get some white put it in with the yellow and back and forth that's all get some more white okay and uh, get some more yellow get a nice strong white in yellow mix here. Now red obviously is darker so it's, that red is going to cover up whatever you put on the end of that brush if it went down that far. And you're going left and right, left and right. Just like so. Get some more red on that corner down there because the yellow is just a highlight. So back and forth like so. Get plenty of paint. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to design the petals. All right. So, here we go for the uh, top petal, the one that I'm going to do first, which will probably be covered by the other petals, but that's okay. We're going to get an angle, just like this. Alright, get a nice angle going. And we're going to go press down, and just like that. And I'm going to go over it again, get it nice and smooth, just like so. Get yourself some more yellow, going back and forth. Get me some white with the yellow, back and forth. I'm gonna go over it one more time, just like so, just like that. All right, that's one, one down. Okay, get some more red. You need plenty of paint. Get some more red, and we're gonna do another one. We're gonna do this is the out the direct outside petals. Okay, and another angle. 
And we're going to stop right there, just like so. I got plenty of paint. Now, the, the, the shape and the desire, you, the way you want your petals will also depend on how much, uh, it, it depends on how, how you want your petals to look. Okay, now I could have added wiggles and whatnot, but I want these to be a little on the flat side. We're going to do one right here. We're going to have the two inside petals, um, or two petals go on the inside here, just like so. And give it a nice little angle there. If you want to strengthen up that red, strengthen up the red. It's okay. I'm going to go over it again, strengthen up the red. Just like that. All right. We're going to go all the way around. I'm going to turn the, turn the brush over. And we're going to have one sneaking out here like that. And we're going to have them come in like so. We're going to go right in a circle all the way around. All right. Now I'm going to wipe off my brush. Got plenty of paint on there. Okay. Just take off the excess. And we're going to strengthen all of that up again. I'm going to get a tissue reaching around. I'm going to get rid of some of this. Just get rid of some of that color. Wipe that right out of there. Just like that. All right. If you want to get rid of some of the green, get rid of some of the green. But I'm getting rid of some of the yellow and red. Get it out of there. Give me a nice clean surface to work with. That goes in the trash. And we're going to do it all over again. Remember, I want the yellow on the outside, so I'm getting some yellow on the on the furthest on the tip, the tip that's raised above. Get some more white. Okay, back and forth. It's only on the tip. Back and forth. Get some red on the bottom there. Just like that. Go back and forth. Get some more red. I want the red a little strong. Go back and forth. Get some more white. Some more yellow just like that now i'm gonna go a little more upright just to show you a little more upright like this instead of on the side let's go a little more upright and you'll see the look how different it will look more upright like so that's what it looks like when it's more upright the furthest one all right now you can do all sorts of playing around with light and shade when you're doing this style of, of, of um, painting. Whoops, truly up to you. I'm turning it back around this way because it's brighter there, so I'm going to give you a nice bright one here. Overlap your petals a little bit. More upright. Just like that. And angle it right in. Like so. So these guys are a little brighter down toward the bottom which is fine which is fine it's your world it's your style of painting and do whatever you do to make the painting look right for you all right well let's get a uh, let's get a big one right here on the bottom so we're going to come out let's give it a little peek pressing down i'm just pressing down come right back up and there you go just like that if you wanted a little stronger, get a little more white. No red this time, no but white and yellow. If you want it stronger, up to you. I want it a little stronger, so I'm gonna get a strong highlight here. Back and forth. And I'm gonna go over it again. This time, stronger white and yellow. Just like that. See how strong that is? Come to a stop, and there you go. So, that's what she's looking like. Um, so far Now that I, This is direct outside You follow me? This is the outside We're going to move on to the inside I'm going to still use the one inch brush I want a thick inside layer I'm getting some more white Getting some more red I'm going to keep these A little more upright this time Not on the side but upright Okay, now we're going to cover these two with that one petal. We're going to go right here, just right here, and you go around just like that. I like the striations. 
Look at that. This is how you put these guys together. Okay, we're gonna go, we got plenty of paint on the other side of the brush. Give a little touch there, and we're gonna go out. Just like so. Okay, that one has a little more red in it because of being, um, coming across the red on the bottom, which is fine, that's okay. I'm just getting it, get rid of the paint. Rinsing the paint off, wiping off the brush real quick. Okay, I'm gonna dip more into some yellow. It's a lot of repeating, that's all this is. Okay, I might not use as much red because I got plenty of red down here, so I'm gonna accent the highlight. Okay, I don't want much red. My phone notification went off, that's all that is. Okay, so let's go over here on the other side. It's got more yellow on it, so we're gonna come here, touch, and we're gonna really have some fun with that guy and come around like that. All right, just like so. It's okay if there's more yellow on one side and got red on the other, that's fine, that's okay. All right, we're gonna go around here on the bottom. Okay, we're gonna come around like so and we're gonna do some playing around here. Just like that, come right around, make a nice size one like that. All right, just like that. I know it looks funny, it's okay. If you wanna go over it, go over it again. I'll bring this cl closer to you so you can see the effect that it's doing. I'm gonna put this brush away. It's slightly off camera. I'm gonna use the half inch brush next, but let me bring this up to you. And you can check it out. Okay. That's what she looks like so far. Okay, like I say, I'm not really swirling them around and making ridged petals. These are more flat. All right, we're gonna mess around with the center of, well, before I do that, let's wipe some of that away. I'm just gonna clean off this stuff here. Just wipe it away. Doesn't have to be perfectly wiped. Just wipe it, wipe it right away clean it right off just like that you just want a clean surface to work on <coughs> all right take a half inch chisel brush oh sure. there you go and we're gonna still maintain this, the same type of theme right on the outside okay we have it right on the outside got some yellow get some yellow in there now you only need a small bit of red, okay. Red's the darker color. Go back and forth, back and forth, just like that. Only on the bottom part of the brush. Get your red pretty, pretty strong in there. I want a little more white because this is the inside. We're gonna go right here in the center. I'll keep it pretty high. I'll keep the center of the flower pretty high. I mean, let's put it up here, right up here, just like this. I want it brighter on the tip, so no paint on the bottom. I want it fairly bright. I want it fairly bright on the top. Right here, I want it to be accentuated very bright here on the top. Like so. Now I'm gonna go into my red I'm going to go on the other side, I'm going to bring it around. I like that rim. I'm going to keep the rim here. Circular motion. Just like so. This is a very smooth surface. There, like that. Get some more red. Red on the top, go back and forth. Get that smooth transition of color back and forth, back and forth. Get a little more white back and forth get a little bit of yellow back and forth go back and forth it's lighter on the top darker on the bottom and we're gonna 
come right on around, like almost like a full circle. Right on around, right on around, right on around. And we'll stop it right there. Now you got the center. See the center? We're going to base everything off of that. This is where it gets pretty interesting. All right. Now that we got that going on, you can do a series of looks like uh, commas or, or um, teardrops to give the impression of petals going in front. Okay. No, I'm just wiping back and forth. A little red, strengthen up that bottom there. Just like that. And we're going to use the angle brush right here. We're going to do a series of, uh, well, actually, we're going to do a series of petals still. And we're going to thin that right out. We're going to go on the other side. We've got plenty of paint on the other side. Press downward. And we're going to thin it right around, right around, like that. Now, you see where these ridges here? We're going to go, let me wipe some of this paint off here. We're going to go upward. We're going to accentuate the bright part. So I got plenty of white and yellow. Get some more white and yellow. Put it right on the tip there. Get a dot of red down on the bottom. Don't need too much. We're going to go. We're going to take the brush. Keep it pivoted. And we're going to go around and meet the other part. So the red stays on the bottom. We're going to take it. Take the brush. And we're going to pivot around just like so. So we're right here. I'm going to take the brush. We're pressing down. And we're going to pivot, 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 pivot. And we're going to meet the other part like so. So now you got a pedal that's folded. Almost looks like a sombrero. Okay. So we're going to have everything kind of be based around that hat. All right. We're going to base everything around that, that hat. Now this is where it can get a little fun for you. We're going to reverse things. We're going to get more red on the bottom. And we're just going to brighten the tip of the brush. Okay. Because you want a deep... You want kind of a deep, I got too much red. Well, correct it over here. You want a deep, a deep red bottom, accentuate with the top at the tip, but you want a deep bottom to accentuate the, the, the deep insides of, of the uh, flower. Okay, and we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do another one. Actually, we're gonna do it right here. We're gonna go uh, let's see how I wanted to do this. Okay. I think I know what I would like to do. Actually, let's touch. We're going to come out, like so. And we're going to come around, come around, come around, come around. And we're going to go flat right there. We're going to do the same thing here. We're going to go out, 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 out. And we're going to come around, keep the brush still. And we're going to meet that other one. So now we have two. We're going to strengthen that a little bit. Hold on for a second. We're going to strengthen that. There we go. Now you got two sombreros. Now I'm going to take this flower. I'm going to go upside down. Like so. So that's the bottom. Now we're making the bottom the top. All right. Taking the paint off. Then before I do that, let's clean off all that red. Matter of fact, I'm going to clean off the red and the yellow. Wipe that red out of there. Get some more yellow. Wipe that red away. The good thing about a plastic bottle, plastic container, one that's oiled in the plastic so the paint comes right off and you get that. All right, brand new. We're going to make two petals meet still take advantage of that dark interior there 
So we're going into our yellow. I'm going to wipe it back and forth. Going to our white. I'm going to wipe that back and forth. Just like that. Okay, get it red only on the tip, only on the bottom. More bright yellow. And we're going to come right around. We're going to touch. And we're going to. That's my fault. Yeah, that's okay. Come around. And we're going to come right in a circle like so. I'm going to strengthen that red. I'm not even going to wipe it. I want a strong red. The yellow is going to be there. I want a deep red. Just like so. All right. Too much, too much red. If you find you got too much color, just wipe it right off. Go back into our white. I don't have to go back into the red because I got plenty of red there on the bottom half. And we're going to do it again, even if I have to overlap, but I might not need to. Right here. Spread it, spread it, spread it. And come around around like so. Get a touch more deep red. I'm not going to wipe it. I want a stronger red down there. Just like so. Now I'm going to take my little sombrero and we're going to strengthen that sombrero a little bit more. Stronger red. Right up around here. I'm going to strengthen that sombrero a little bit. Come right on around. Just like that. I'm going to turn it around and you'll see. Like so. There you go. Okay. Just like that. All right. Now that you see where the positioning of the flower is, at least for this one. Okay, I can add all sorts of little things here on this side to give it a little, you know, little interest. So I'm going to rinse off the brush here. Plenty of paint on the brush. Just rinse it off. Alright, I'm just drying off the brush here a tad. Everything's kind of off camera, you don't see none of that. Alright, what do I want to add here? Pretty much uh, whatever I want actually but what I'm going to do for right now just for right now I want to highlight the uh, I want more of a stronger highlight for the uh, um, the flower petal up here so I'm pressing down stronger highlight that's all I want really just like so just like that kind of brings it out a little more I'm gonna get some more yellow this, this is where you can pick and choose what you want highlighted and what you don't want highlighted. And I'm not using any red on the bottom. I want to highlight. The red is already there. I'll highlight a little bit here. And maybe a little bit on this side here. Like so. Just to bring it around a little bit. I can trail this one. Let's do it this way. I'll trail it around. to join it into the other one. So now I've joined the outside wings there to this one here. All right. So the phosphorescent green is showing. All right, you got the, the, the ridges here is what sells all of this. See those ridges? All of this is just the paint being pushed. So if you're not really used to doing the, the Jenkins style flowers, you can always start out with one of these and do something like that. Okay, let's, uh, let's get some long stem leaves or something going on over here. So I'm going to clean off the brush. I'm going to still use the uh, half inch angle brush here. Nothing but regular water. Okay, wipe it off on my towel here. Now, I'm going to go into my green. Okay, going into my green. 
I'm going to go into my white. Let's use green and white for the long stems. I want it more green than a, a white. So white's on the bottom here. I want a strong green on the top. All right. And here we go. We're going to get, we're going to start off thin, thick and go thin maybe. So we'll start off thick here. And we're going to press down, press down, press down. And we'll kind of have it narrow up like so. And we're going to do another one. White on the bottom, green on the top. Back and forth. Get a little more green. This green is thinner than the white. And we're going to go right into the other one. Thick, we're going to have it come out. And we have a curve. Curve, and just have it come down like that. We're going to turn this around. I got plenty of white on the other side of the brush. And we'll just have one coming. Maybe we'll just join this one and just make it a leaf itself. Just like that. And we're going to narrow it just like that. You can design anything right on the jump. Any way you want. Have it come over that, that design there. <coughs> like so. Okay. We'll put some tendrils in there and call it a day for this. I'm going to get only the slightest touch of medium. We'll put it right in there because we're going to keep this pretty, pretty thick. This is just little tendrils and whatnot coming out, little curly cues and all that stuff to accentuate wherever you want to do. If you don't want to do this, that's fine. This is, like I say, your painting, your world, you do um, really what you want. Okay. So we'll have, my brush is straight perpendicular. All right, straight up. You can't see it because of my wrist. But I'm just going straight up. I'm going to put one here. And here we'll come around and we'll kind of curl it around and we'll come here something like that all right I'm gonna take some green and that green is gonna mix in with the white it's gonna be brighter anyway and I'm going right over it with the green that's all it's gonna mix with the white it's gonna be brighter in color anyway when it dries and it's fine just like so I'll have it trailed down here like that. So that's one. <coughs> Dipping into my green, I'm going to mix the green and white together. The phosphorescent is still going to show even with the white mixed in. Just the material, just the type of properties that's, that's in the green. All right. And a wee bit of medium, which is glycerin and uh, shampoo those who are familiar with my style of painting they know what it's all about okay let's brighten this up a little bit there we go bring that on down there like that so we got one there we'll have uh something coming off that tip like so and we'll have it come around, we'll have it loop around here, go behind this leaf, come around the big loop right in here, and we'll come around and over the design like that. I'm going to brighten that up a little bit of white. You don't have to brighten it up everywhere, but I'm going to curly cue and brighten up this part because it's going over a leaf, so a little more white so you can see where it is. All right, we're going to come right on around a little more white. It mixes in with the green. It's okay. And we're coming around that tendril just like that. And we'll have one. I'm going to go over this one here. Something like so. And we'll have one. We'll get a curl right in here like that. 
put a little curl in there like that with that guy. I'm going to add, just to do it, we'll add some little red, red dots in it. Like little berries or little seedlings or whatnot around in here. Just in various spots. Put it over the leaves a little bit. Stagger them. Like that. Don't have to be over everyone. It's um, really your choice. Okay. Basically, basically that's it. At least for this one. Let's put this back over here. So now she looks. Oh, wait a minute. I'm glad I examined this. Hold on. Gotta put a red dot right in there. There. I'm glad I caught that. I might as well do it up here too. Keep everything in symmetry. Dot here. Dot here. Uh, dot here. I think I think we got every dot there in the center of every cube. Alrighty, already, already, already. So let's bring this up towards you here. And you see what it looks like with my red nail. There. I'll bring it towards you there like that. And that's what she looks like. Okay. And it hangs on the wall or whatever, what have you. Okay. And there you go. Very, very simple. Reddish flower with the yellow highlights. I'll bring it up closer. You guys can see all sorts of stuff going on there. All up on top. Remember it's got the phosphorescent green. The green is like fingernail polish. So when it totally dries, that green will still show out very well. Fairly well. Very simple. A lot of action going on, even in a simple uh, one stroke variety flower. Very fun, very simple project to do. Okay. I remember I was going to show you what to do if some of these lines were a little thick, but now you really don't notice it because of everything else that's going on in here. But I did say I was going to show you guys how to do that. I almost stepped on my microphone wire with my big feet. Let's get some, some black paint here. I don't need to pour a lot of this out. This is just to show you an example of what to do to correct some things. Okay, basically I'm messing with the black that's like splashing around up there. I'm getting some water. No thinner, just water. Go right into the paint itself and just twirl it around. Right now, it's just a series of corrections if you feel that it should be corrected. Okay, and go as close as you can if, if, it's, too th if, the, if it's too thick. You can always fine tune it. See this? You see what I'm doing here? Right over the white a little bit. You thin some of those lines right down. Keep it as smooth as possible. Change the total look of your project. If it's like I say, if it's too, if you got the something you don't like, that it's too wide or it's just not looking right, the paint is dry, and you go right on over it. Okay, that's when you get too much water on your brush, it won't cover it. But there you go. And you can smooth it right out, thin it right out. If you got something flubbing around in this area, you want to tighten that up. You can tighten that up also. Okay. As careful as you can. Get some more black. And go right over it. Smooth as you can. Okay. If you got a bad bout of nervousness, you know then wiggling around might not be for you. If you go too strong with the black, you can correct it with the white all over again. All right. This is just the raw paint itself, so it will dry relatively quickly. 
Okay, you can always go back over something. Get it as smooth as possible. Um, some of the curlies a little thick. Go back over it. Just like so. so you're just really fine tuning, fine tuning things here and there. I'm just turning it right over. There's a little something, something over there I can get rid of, just like that. It dries flat, follow me? So when you varnish it, varnishing shines it all up anyway. So your, your, your black, when you, you put it on there initially, it dries, uh, it does dry flat. So uh, have no worries, no fears about that. And basically that's it. I don't really have to do anything else to this, but to put my name on it, really. And if you don't want to sign your name on the actual artwork itself, that's also fine. Then you can just sign it on the back. Essentially, this is going to dry in a few minutes. I'll just turn it around here. Get me a spot that's pretty dry. And you just, you know, whatever. You can even take, you don't even have to have the, something like this. I think you guys can see that. I'll just quickly just put my initials on it. Initials on it here. Thank you guys for watching this. And there you go. Okay. It's my initials. <coughs> Try off my brush here. And that's that. As you can see, the oils from your hands. Yeah, there you guys can see. See, look at all the oils from my hands when I first grabbed it and everything. This is why I take a, a alcohol wipe and I just wipe it all down. All right. You are not going to see it so much on this side, obviously. It's been all alcohol wiped and whatnot. Okay. And I will take this where it's totally dry and I'll varnish it and then that will be that. This whole thing will be slick, shiny. The phosphorescence will show through. Okay. I like how it mixes in with the black background because it gives a kind of a transparent feel. All right, but this is basically um, what you can do with these little craft projects and such. Really cute, you know. People tend to enjoy these. You can make many varieties of of them. Okay, I'll do. I got another one here. I'll do one more. You guys won't see it, but I'll just do it just for, uh, for my own sake, just to do one, do a pair of them. But this is it. Thank you guys for um, checking this out and watching it watching me do this if you have any questions or comments write them right down below I will answer them as quickly as possible and um, on my grayscale painter page which you probably already see down on the bottom here already it should be somewhere around here by now um, you can check out my paintings my sites a lot of them are for sale just inquire just message me and everything um, or if you have any commissions or anything that you would like done um, just contact me all right okay with all of that said thank you very much um, at the time of this recording enjoy your holidays because it's only a few days away at the time of this recording and um, be safe be careful and I shall see you online soon all right God bless and uh, goodbye